What's up everybody, it's Dee Ferg here in the Teak Life Basement Bar, and on this episode of Something New, we're going to be trying Tequila Corsel and their Reposado. A beautiful straw, golden color, great aromas, some interesting flavors, but the top, like none other in the industry. You have to see this. I've never seen this before, and kind of found it by accident. So, watch this episode coming up right now. So welcome back to another episode of Something New where we're trying Tequila Corsel and their Reposado. If you remember, and I will definitely flash the card so if you didn't catch the episode, which you should have, but if you didn't, shame on you. We tried Corsel's Blanco before, which was really clean, very smooth, and it had like a smear mint, like kind of a minty uh, finish, which was really unique. I really like this. Uh, it is a great sipping Blanco. Definitely check that episode out. And if it's in your neck of the woods, be sure to pick it up. Really cool story behind the horse that I, that I talked about. We're not going to talk about that on this episode because I have something just really ridiculously cool that they did with this top. But we're going to get into tasting. So before we said on the intro, nice golden like a straw like color which is just phenomenal for a for a reposado it's got brilliant brilliant colors so i'm gonna crack this open and just get right to it we are going to be using my teak life signature flute wow got the glug i always love hearing the glug i don't know why it's probably nerdy of me but, um, you know, it's just one of those things. Mmm. Wow. So, you're... The, the nose is great. I mean, it's got almost like a honey. And if you've ever had mead, uh, which is very popular here in the Michigan area, it's got a really sweet tone to the nose. I'm picking up a little bit of butterscotch. There's a little bit of spice. Um, mm, very inviting. Um, just has a great nose to it. That first one is always the good one to, you know, kind of coat your palate. And for those of you, as I did digest this and try to get all the flavors, Reposado means rested. So if there's an añejo, that means aged. Extra añejo, take a stab at it. What do you think? Okay, yeah, you're wrong. So it's extra aged. Yeah, it's got great, it's just got a great nose to it. Um, it's sweet. It is smooth. There is literally no burn whatsoever. I get that great sweet cooked agave flavor, which obviously tequila is going to be notable for. Um, a little bit of the woody tones, probably from the barrels that it's rested in. Um, little cinnamon, I think, on the back end of it, which is really unique. It's almost creamy. So there, there was another brand that I tried before. And there's an episode for it, Fortaleza. And, you know, this is, this is dynamic. It, it, it is really, this is really good. Maybe a little bit of toffee in there because it has that sweetness. Um, it reminds me of a toffee and I, I love toffee. So this is aged six months in American oak barrels. Uh, most tequilas are. It's twice distilled. So the distillation process, you know, after each distillation, it allows for a cleaner, a smoother product. And that's really what you're looking for. Um, there's not too many tequilas out there that are three times distilled. So typically twice distilled is, you know, the, the, the norm for the industry. Um, man, this is just, this is really, this is really good. I am literally getting no burn whatsoever. Uh, tequila Corsel, I mean, we have a Blanco that we've tried now, and we have a Reposado, which is just really amazing. 
this is a great sipping tequila. I mean, there, there's really no doubt about it. Um, this is one, and I've been kind of playing around with this lately, is throwing a ice cube, just like a really tiny ice cube, and swirling it around. I started that in Cancun, and it just, it really brought a little bit more of the flavor out of it, which is really what you want. You want to sip for the flavor. You want to get those tones, but you don't want to dilute it so much that it tastes watered down whatsoever. What I like about Corsell is if you go to their website, they have some suggestions for food pairing, you know, the, the correct temperature to actually drink a tequila, a reposado at, um, what glass to use. And, you know, typically it's a Glencairn glass or some type of a flute, like a Riedel flute. Um, you know, I go for my signature tequila, Teak Life flute, because it's my brand and I can do it. This is, yeah, I'm trying to get like the last drops out of it. And I don't know why, because I can just pour more and it, it, it's just really, really good. Now, I know I talked about the top. And we have shown the top before. I'm just going to flash it right here. We'll get a close-up of it. But there is almost like a medallion of a horse in the middle of it, which is really striking, really different. However, I got a surprise. So, one of the owners of Tequila Corsell is a big golf fan. I don't know if, you know, he played in the PGA. I'm not a big golf fan. I don't know much about golf. I'm not even going to fake it. But he's a big golf fan. And he lives in Arizona, so I'm sure he golfs all year round. And he wanted to create something completely unique and unusual. So, with the top, that medallion actually comes out. And it's a marker for golf. So, I kind of did a little bit of research what a marker for golf is, and it marks where your ball is. And so that way your ball's not sitting there. Isn't that weird? Your balls aren't sitting there. But if your ball isn't sitting there on the green, you can actually put this marker down placement for your ball, which is a touch. Like, I've just never seen this before in my life. I think it's really cool. You can probably go to Chuck E. Cheese and, you know, slide it into... No, they don't use tokens anymore. I'm real old school. I didn't say old, I just said old school. But each time, like, you're on the golf course, just take, you know, this coin out there and use it as your marker. It's a very good conversation piece, and it reminds you of what a great tequila is going to be. So my interpretation, I mean, Tequila Corsell, they're doing some fantastic things. And I used the top because I wanted to, I was playing around with the Añejo, so you know the Añejo's coming. And look at that deep golden bronze hue. I mean, I can't wait to dive into that, but I'm going to definitely have another sip of Corsell. But I'm telling you, great sweet flavors. It is very smooth. One of the smoothest tequilas that I've actually ever had. Um, I just love the color. I love that each label is actually different. And we talk about that in the Blanco episode. So make sure, like I said, to watch that. But where can you pick this up at? So I know that they're in um, California, and I think they were entering the Arizona market the last time that we talked, but I was able to research and find on Hol Holiday Wine Cellar, uh, a website that carries a lot of different spirits around the country, you can actually get this. This is around 50, 52 bucks, something like that, on Holiday Wine Cellar's website. And that's a really good price point. For a premium tequila, you know, something that's just flavorful and ultra smooth, this is the route that you want to go. Um, I love it. So it's definitely 100% Teak Life approved. So that wraps up another episode of something new here in the Teak Life basement bar. Tequila Corsell and the Reposado. Teak Life approved all day long. Along with their Blanco. Blanco Reposado. And if you didn't know, this is this, meaning this was once this, and then they put it in a barrel, rest it, six months, this is what, what you get. When you do it a little bit longer, this is what you get, but we'll talk about that soon. Anyway, 100% Teak Life approved. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms, at Teak Life, 
You can also go to teaklife.com to see the blog reviews, links where to buy this, YouTube videos, all these different things, and subscribe to that Teak Life YouTube channel. We will see you next time here in the Teak Life Basement Bar. I'm going to do another pour.